Welcome back to Studio 701. Northern Plains Dance has been working hard to bring the beauty and the beast on stage. And Hollis McIntosh Hyde, director of Northern Plains Dance, along with Heather Arndt, owner of Red Door Pediatric Therapy, join us now. Ladies, thank you both for being here today. Thanks yeah. for having us. All right, so Hollis, I'm going to start with you. Sure. Tell us about Beauty and the Beast. I know we talked about it last mm -hmm. time, but let's just give the people a quick reminder of what they can expect on stage. Yeah, so Northern Plains Dance does a different uh, fairy tale every spring, and we try to follow the original story. So while Disney made it famous, we have a little bit more of a traditional take on it. So it's a ballet version, which means no talking, mm -hmm. but the entire story to told through dance. What is uh, the traditional version. How is it going to be different? Well, um, in the original story, uh -huh. there's different things in the castle. Okay. And we'll leave it at that. All right. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> well, this year, you're making sure that we can all enjoy what will take place on stage. So tell us about your sensory friendly performance. Sure. So this is the second time we have done it. Um, and we heard from the community that there was a lack of events that took into account kids with sensory issues, meaning loud noises, bright lights, you know, length of performance and expectations for behavior. And so we're really excited to partner with Heather and uh, the Bismarck Public Library to bring this to the community. So a shortened narrated version of the full performance mm -hmm. um, with less light cues, um, less light changes, more evened out sound um, for so that kids can enjoy it. Okay. And uh, Heather, why don't you tell us a little about your involvement with this and how you've created this experience with Hollis? Yeah, I would love to. Hollis reached out um, and as well as a representative from the public library and said, hey, is this something that Red Door Pediatric Therapy would be interested in? And we said, without even learning any more about it, <laughs> absolutely. Um, because the, the work that we do just is, is working to promote inclusion across the board so that all kids, regardless of um, their ability to sit still or their ability to tolerate the noise or their ability to kind of act appropriately, appropriately mm -hmm. through a whole show can enjoy the um, arts that our community has to offer. And while a lot of people when they hear sensory processing disorder or something like that think like, mm, I don't know a lot about that and I don't know that it affects me, it actually um, affects a lot of people, mm -hmm. some with a diagnosis that kind of makes it make sense like, like autism or ADHD and some just with sensory sensitivities to the information that their brain is taking in from their senses. And so you maybe have noticed that at a lot of stores, they no longer have a tag on the clothes. They just print the information on the back of your shirt. And you're like, well, weird, where'd that come from? It's because people's tolerance of tags on their clothes is, that's like a running thing. Like people mm -hmm. are, are, a lot of people are intolerant of that. So when you kind of break it down, it isn't sort of a small group or a show just for a small group of people. It involves a lot of people in our community. Mm -hmm. And Hollis, you had mentioned this is the second year in a row that yep. you'll be doing it. So what is the feedback that you heard from the families who attended last year's showing? You know, I, I expected there to be good feedback and I don't think that I expected that it meant that much to those families. Um, and so, you know, we, we were getting a lot of comments from people that were this, that they can't take their kids to things like the circus mm -hmm. for a variety of reasons. And that this was an experience for the whole family that they had never had before. And so it was so overwhelmingly positive that we just, it's now a permanent part of our season. Mm -hmm. um, Heather, is sensory friendly something that Red Door Pediatrics specializes in? Or is this a part of your guys' more uh, global uh, position here? This is just a part of the stance that we're sort of taking with regard to our community that says the world needs neurodiversity. Mm -hmm. We need the, the kids and the people that have um, something a little bit different going on neurologically and let's promote inclusion and acceptance in a way that feels not like, okay, we did this one super sort of special thing for you, but that was it. And, and I have to give so much credit to Hollis and Northern Plains Dance because they have done this so well. They provide a visual schedule so that kids sort of understand what's going to happen and the order that it's going to happen and some clear-cut expectations are given. Um, it's kind of like when you're on a plane and 
no one says anything about the turbulence and they're and you're like does anybody even know that this just got terrifying <laughs> mm, <that's laughs> or analogy. when you're on a plane and the pilot says hey it's gonna get a little bumpy it'll probably last for three minutes and then we're okay after that and you feel like someone is in charge of making you feel better mm -hmm. that's really what they've done is they've laid out a groundwork um, to really set these kids and families up for success so Hollis let us know the details on that performance uh, sure. it what are the dates and what are the times? So uh, May 9th, it's a Tuesday evening from 6.30 to 7.30. Um, and you can get uh, your ticket reservation on our website. And we are really thankful for Heather and Red Door and the Bismarck Public Library that this is actually a performance that is free of charge. Excellent. So we have a suggested donation mm -hmm. because, of course, this doesn't come without cost. But um, it is available for families free of charge. Perfect. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like more information about the classes they offer at Northern Plains Dance for kids or adults, make sure that you visit them on their website or call 701-530-0986.